Have you been working on a design and then all of a sudden realize that you need it in a different size format? Or you want to place it across different social media platforms that have different size requirements? I'm going to show you some easy methods that whether you have the pro or the free account that you can use to resize your design. So I just have this where I've been using this to make different designs in. So what I want to do with this is the first and easiest thing some people like to do. If you have something simple like this, this is already grouped. I can just group this together and then I can go control C and then I can port it over to whatever design I want to and control V it. It's simple. It's one little piece and that's what I can do with that. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. So now I have a complex design. So that's just a lot of copy and paste. And if I want to copy and paste, yes, you can group it all together and bring it over that way. But maybe I don't want to do that. So what options that I have? So if I'm a pro user, you have what's up in the left corner is called resize. So what we're going to do is go into resize. I'm going to go down and pick what I want. So I'm going to go into social media and I'm going to get an Instagram post. What I'm going to do next is I'm going to go right above the purple bar. It says you can pick which pages you want to resize. You can do the whole design if you want to, which we don't want to do. I just want to do this page. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click the top one. And then I know this is page four. So I'm going to grab page four. I'm going to push done. And then I'm going to copy and resize. So it's going to copy and resize it. Now, when you're going from a format that's like long like this into something that's square, things are going to move, but everything's going to come over. So we're going to go to our Instagram post here. And what I'm going to do is, as you can see, everything came over, but it's going to be small because of the format I originally designed in. So if you're a designer, so you're going to go ahead and kind of re change up your stuff a little bit to kind of fill in that space to make it fit more into that type of format. So if I wanted to put him down and maybe put him here and then kind of do this, but everything ports over. So all your, your images, text, and whatever, you might have to rearrange it, especially if you're going to a dramatic size difference. So like even with this, if I go over here, and go to resize and then let's do um, video let's go into a mobile video I'm gonna go copy and resize this and open the mobile video you can see they're changed again so they're in the original positions but now you're just gonna have to go and fix it so if you ever noticed anybody who has like the same kind of thing across platforms that they're all a little bit different and this is why because they're not going to be exactly and it could be because it'd be all in the center and then you'd have all the space at the top and the bottom if you took it from the original design so I'm going to go back over to our Instagram post so what I want to do next is show how a free user and a pro user can use this method so what I want to do is add a page I'm going to come over to my projects so the original project we used was this Christmas video. It's not Christmas. Well, my last one was a Christmas one. And we're going to grab the same one. So all you got to do is come over here into a previous project and pull that one and bring it in. And you can do that just easy peasy. And if I want to pull in another page from another project, I can do that. I can go and pull this Christmas one in. And then what I'm going to do, of course, is I'm going to kind of get it so it fills that space better and it's just that simple you can just go in here and bring it in as you need it and just rep reposition stuff you might have to move stuff around but as you can see if I do something let's see what else I got up in my projects over here let's go backwards let's see see y'all um let's go let's do my little doggy one here so as you can see because this was done in a video format how this one did pretty good because when it poured it over but I might want to move my sign up so I'm going to move my sign up here I'm going to take this and I'm going to move it here and there's this shadow background I have back there so I'm going to move that over to kind of fill that up and take that space and 
So with a, just a couple little tweaks, I have that done from the original size. If we look over, if I brought it over in here, I can go into my projects. Let's go and get it again. And this is what the original looked like. So I can put that page in there. And this is the original one and how it looked now. And then when I ported it over to the Instagram size. So that's what you're going to do. You're going to have to do a little bit of manipulation and to get it the way you want to afterwards. But every part of your design is in there for you to edit. And that's how easy it is. And I hope I helped you out today. And I'm glad you guys stopped by. And I hope to see you on the next one. Bye, y'all.